the title does not deceive you, my friends. We're back in action. We're back for more. I had it. I, I reserved it at the urge to just come right the fuck back to this goddamn game. I don't know why, I just fucking did. Like, goddamn it. I can't, from how hard I try, I just can't escape it. It's, it's honestly kind of insane. Also, for some reason, I'm like, what happened there? I do have it in here, don't I? Let's see. Uh, oh, I, I don't? I thought I did. Alright, give me a second as I go and try and put the... <laughs> it put pretty much the, the uh... Freaking! I thought I did. What do you mean I didn't? I thought I did. Did it not work? Is that what we're going with? Yeah. Okay. So it's just simple copy paste job here. I thought I did. I don't know why, but I thought I did. Wait a minute, I pressed the motherfucking button. No! Get out! Get out! I didn't want to press that one. Alright, now for reals. What? What? Okay, now it should hopefully work. Hopefully. Right? Okay, what was the difference between all these? Yeah, obviously it was that. It was that. Spoilers. That's actually not bad. That's also extremely good. Sad. Shock. <laughs> Wait a minute, I never knew about this! What?! Why did no one tell me about this insignificant detail?! Whoa! I didn't know about that! Yeah, there's that. <laughs> we still need to do the other two. God, that was... Mm. That one is staying on a personal different hard drive. <laughs> Gee, it's almost as if we got this from a completely different <laughs> real life for the different game. Oh my god, why? It's almost like we got this from a different game and put the assets in here to try and make it look like as if it never left in the first place. I'm also actually very curious because now I want to go... So I go into the wait, scripts. What? Uh, I'm actually really curious as to why why did it not show up though? If I if I did have it, it says it looks like it said I did. Is it showing up? That's the important part. Is it showing up? It's showing up. Okay, we're good. Ah. Uh. So yeah, I actually wait. Did I not get the? God damn it! Which one did I not get? Which one did I not receive? Uh oh, I didn't get that one. So of course I did. I feel like I did. I see that one. I feel like I did. 
No, it was this one. So what the heck is this supposed to actually be then? Oh my god, I forgot how many things I got rid of. Remove. 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 Remove that. And that one. 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 One more. This one, yeah, this one was cancelled. So, remove. And there we go. Okay, no, so wait, what the heck is this one then? I don't, I don't know what this one is. And at this point, I believe we've done just about, well, let's see, yeah, we can't, we can't do that one. This one, for some reason, is not working right. Did I not do this one? I, do I not have that one? Do you want to check the files? No, I do. Okay, so the ones I'm missing that are the last ones are just two. So all I gotta do is just do some extractions. Extractions. And... What I, okay, this is actually something we need to figure out right now. So, and then I go here. Then if I do this. So press, yeah, do that. Are they here now? No, I have to actually get out of the game. <sighs> For them to be considered. Alright. Oh, god damn it. Okay, hopefully, now, now it should actually work as intended. Why isn't it up here? There we go. Alright, now we have a whole bunch of these. Now, I'm going to have to sadly spoiler this, by the way, but sadly, uh, Carfatorium is not as interesting as it sounds. So, I click on it, and all it does, well, one, it's read. Yo, glad you can make it! <laughs> Gavin Dorm is like, officially open for business! So, normally, dude, you know, I wouldn't let you near this stuff, because, yeah, I died, alright? But check it, Mongo hook me up with these botanicals and make it, like, good for humans, too. Also, something about astral visions and spirit walking. Is that pretty wild, honestly? Anyway, see your dudes if you still want to try it, dude. Why not? Oh boy. And yeah, you basically will get this. Look familiar? For some reason, it's an interface. Where, you see, Rainbow's Observations, Dynamics Tribulations, Passion of the Trigger, and even all of this. PTA, the, mo the Moss Pad, and I still have no idea how to say that name. I have no fucking clue how to say that name. So if we just sober right up. You back, dude? Already? Man, I guess humans can like handle stuff better than they say, huh? Or, uh, I didn't mix it up, right? Oh, dude, give me like a week to work out the ratios. Come with Cafe Tour without the full produ product range, you know? Gotta make the trip a little true. Catch you later. And away he goes. What the fuck was the point of that shit? Anyway.
so that's all that does. But we do now have... I do also have some other stuff that I actually did not show from the last time with... Some of the other things. The most obvious one being getting back to Culture Knife. And we need to go and make some interesting different choices here. And I do actually mean when I, when I say it, that we do need to make different choices. Because I do remember there were choices in this one. Oh boy. Keyboard noises. More keyboard noises. Seafaring keyboard noises. Photographic keyboard noises. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Did I accidentally write shooting? I need to- I need to go and recheck that. Did I actually- Did I accidentally write shooting? You're making me scared for myself. No, I did write- <laughs> You- Sorry, but it's like- You made me think I accidentally put the words. <laughs> and it's like, ah, shooting game. My favorite. Or shoot game. What would that even be like? Oh man, anyway. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Oh fuck, we're dead. Mrs. Roberts! How nice to see you. Were you not already Were you not already told you cannot be using the school's network to download illicit material? No, no Miss Roberts, I And was it not explicitly explained that if you do so again there would be severe punishments? No, please, listen, I wasn't Care to explain yourself, Mr. Moose? <laughs> You're faster than me, Smash Rocks, that's for sure. <laughs> just hearing about the fact that I have to go through 10 floors again made me just go, Ugh. Especially with the fact that I have to do grinding, because I want to get some good personas. There's a lot of nuking. But, but the story part of it is actually really good, I'm not going to deny that. Oh, so you wrote comma palace. I got nothing. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what you're supposed to do. But if you actually want to get everything in the dungeon, you got to go out of your way and do some stuff. Oh, really? So it's actually called comma? What's that? Maybe, maybe they're supposed to be like Kodama. That's weird. <laughs> anyway. You simply do not listen, do you? I cannot believe how you simply avoid the most basic rules of this library. Also, now that I know you're playing on PSP, that... Now I know why that you're, you're, you actually can take... <laughs> why you're going so fast. Because the PSP makes you go fast. She sighs, goes to her eyes, and she sinks her head before opening them and looking at me with a disappointed glare. Come with me, Mr. Moss. Ah, hell. As far as brings the spears off us. Oh, boy. I cannot express the full, to the fullest how disappointed I am in you, Mr. Moss. The student in internet connection is a privilege, not a right! If you would likely... If you'd like to illegally pirate movies, you may do so on your own. Pay for internet connection. Was it not made abundantly clear what activities are allowed on the school's network? Well, that was not a rhetorical question! <laughs> you just got that?! <laughs> Buddy, I cannot believe you- I cannot believe you just got that. I got that immediately. That it's like it's like that's just straight up you know that and that's a, that's a fucking joke. That's literally straight up spear <laughs> from 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 a goddamn show primal. Yeah, so we're ta us talking about that. <laughs> it's just kind of cool though, though to see him like she wears a suit though. It's like, damn, you have a pair of glasses and a suit, and he looks dapper as fuck. <laughs> I know you just got here. We only just started. Anyway, that's why, Mr. Moose, did you partake in 
Did you ever take in circumventing the rules after they were made so clear to you? Did you enlighten me on that? Visible spirits, look. Uh, this one doesn't matter, so... The messengers explain this, and frankly, I'm not one to talk openly about this, but school is the only place I can access the internet. My home life is very bland. I'm doing my very best to save every cent I can. I use the school Wi-Fi to bring home movies and some TV shows. Sorry, I know I broke the rules, but cable's expensive. I'm just starting to lose my mind at home talking to four walls. It's getting... Stop. Uh, I know for a fact that one of the one of the teachers looks like Suki from Samurai Champloo. Another one of them looks like... Well, actually, no. Not looks like... I think he straight up is supposed to be a... Uh, Carl something something from... Aqua Team Hunger Force, is that what that was called? And one of them is just straight up a reference to, uh... Ex it was Xavier, was it Xavier Renegade Angel? Or something like that? <laughs> anyway, I made, I made Witch Academia's put put such a prime focus on school that we sometimes forget the importance of the balance between studying and relaxing. For that, let me apologize. Can I offer you a deal? I'm not going to punish you for the slip-up. I need you to do something for me. School will be doing a culture day for the parents. It's coming up in a couple of weeks, and we currently do not have a human signed up for the event. I would like you to do a diorama and present the homo sapiens. In exchange, I will overlook the misuse of the school's internet, and maybe set you up with some better anime selection. <laughs> Better anime, you say. That works for me. Thank you, Principal Spears. That's pretty based of you. You can be a real bro sometimes. Based? Uh, it's a synonym for cool. Is it? Ah, based. You know, I learn something new every day. I will admit, the younger generation has such a unique way of developing new words. <laughs> yeah, I know. Just today, I learned the phrase, no cap. Such a weird one. <laughs> Either way, please know that you can't be using the school Wi-Fi for downloading movies anymore. I suggest a library card. Really noted. Sadly, there's already there's already a sequence where I actually did do the culture night as told, but this time it's different. We're gonna fail it. That's what Spear, Spears handed this Culture Day project to me. Hands? Yeah, let's use hands. So this project entail, I have to present and educate others on the human culture. See, what you get for doing illegal shit on the school computers. It wasn't illegal! So he bought the movies? I, uh, well... Uh-huh, sure he did. First the railgun, now pirating! What lengths will you go to next? I'm not a delinquent. You're downloading pirated movies, bro. <laughs> it's a victimless crime. Sorry to the multi-million dollar studios that can't get $21.99 from their 10-year-old movie. <laughs> Anon, have you ever heard of, like, the library? They have movies. So I'm told. I I'm actually now wondering, when did libraries start actually having movies? Inside of their space. Like, legitimately curious, when did they start doing that? Like, did they, did they like, start doing that re Like, was that something, like, recently, a couple of years ago? Or, or, or did I, like, miss out on, like, a... Some, like, big bolt and that tells us, oh yeah, they've always done that. Because last I checked, when I hear the term library, I just think books. More books and fat stacks of books. We're talking like real thick ones. Like ones that could actually probably be heavier than a brick. If you stack maybe only two or three on top of each other. And just let them fall on top of someone's head. That's just me. I'm absolutely trash at these projects. Well, there's fire making. <laughs> You're chucking! <laughs> Are you guys good at like fortune for berries? 
That's right, you guys are good at foraging and like rock throwing, right? There you go, plenty of material for your project. I'm glad to see the summation of human culture came down to Unga Bunga throw rock. Well, is there more? There's plenty! The first phone, probably the first pizza. You know, pizza's played a large part in making me who I am today. Let's see how your work cut out for you, dweeb. How do you not know anything about your own culture? Jeez. <laughs> Throw rock part two? Pretty much, yeah. yeah welcome back, HS. This is <laughs> This is basically I forgot I forgot there actually is a second option here. And apparently that actually leads to a different ending. Yeah. I also got like more mods to go and like experiment with. Because I never thought about a de depth of detail. I do know a little about humans. Little to none. I haven't really seen any humans attend the school other than you. <laughs> Still love the fact that it's like, yep. I see my spirits drop this on me. Nice knowing that I can be the face of school diversity and inclusion. <laughs> Taste the house having the only human student being a delinquent. Well, bro, look at it this way. Saves you house living pl plants for the weekend. That's fair. Surprised he put such a big responsibility on you with such short notice. What do you mean? Well, being like you're the only human students, you'll you'll be the only detailed representation of humans for a bunch of students and their parents. Not like everyone deals with you guys every day. That's a lot of responsibility. That's what I thought. Well, when you say it like that, fuck. This makes that, that just makes it that much worse. Nah, bro, don't worry. Don't let that get to your head. Easier said than done. Well, I better help you, help you out with it. We'll get it punched out today. You know, the whole two eyes are better than one deal. If you're offering, let me think about it. So, yeah, this is, uh, this, this is the choice about to come up. So, last time, we chose to actually be, the, you know, the good Anon. And go ahead and go with our friends to the library and try to learn how the fuck the human culture work. But in this one, we're going to be not that Anon. And apparently it leads to an actual different outcome. Oh, hello, Enon. Hello, Reed. <laughs> Todo bien. So let's go and just uh, get this to the point. Why is that? Apparently, we know next to about human culture. Yada, yada, yada. Come on. There it is. Stick to yourself. You can do it. Nah, I know what I'm doing. <coughs> think, 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 think. Ideas, ideas. What do humans do? What are humans? Fuck, it's not even like humans. I'm a human. What do I do? Shit. I don't do anything. Hi, Rainbow. The internet. It's gotta be something I can use I could use on some Bronze Age ironworking forum. I then proceed to ship us for a good hour before slapping myself for procrastinating. <laughs> Alright, for real now. Research! I can do this. Oh, hi Nasser. Suki. Hi Fang. Hi Fernsworth. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, hi. Uh-huh. Okay. Let's go to Fang's house. Uh-huh. <laughs> he still hates us. Oh yeah, then that. Get thrown out. Go to Dynamo's. Get us some pizza. Okay. What what's happening there? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, why are we at the airport? Okay, now we're here. Now we're here. It's it's a new day. Okay. Okay. Shit. I didn't do <laughs> No, no, this that th thankfully this is not the intermission trick. <laughs> I might actually go back and do that for fun, for, for funnies and see how like, how long can we keep the intermission going. Fuck my procrastinating caveman brit. Wait, caveman? Are you fucking kidding me? You just thought of that now? I'll use some garden sticks and a knife from the cafeteria. And with that, I can 
Chuck Spear, build fire. How delightfully devilish of you. <laughs> Something you could have thought of days ago. I scream around the school looking for supplies. Most of the doors are locked for my search. So my search isn't going well. Equipped with a kitchen knife from the cafeteria, I make my stand. Who the fuck are you? I encounter a janitor. If I get into the active sprinkler system, I can put I can pull this fire off without a hitch. Hey, Mr. Janitor. Hello, sir, Mr. Yo, dude! Oh, huh? Oh yes. <laughs> yep, it's me. My name is Stanley Dinosaur <laughs> Dinosaur. Spod Spadowski. Uh, what can I do for you? Hey, do you know anything about... <laughs> Your middle name is Dinosaur? Uh-huh. Well, while I was actually researching, I learned that Trisha's real name is apparently Patricia Lettuce. Let that sink in. Her last name is Lettuce. His, his janitor seems very aloof. Very lost in thought and not listening. Right. Anyways, you anything about the fire alarms? Fire alarms? Oh, jeez. I know where they are. You need to turn them off. My project uses fire. It might set them, it might set them off. Jeez, well, you know, I sure can try. Thank you. Appreciate the help. What a funny looking dinosaur. <laughs> I read my empty table. I scatter my stakes. The rudimentary supplies I acquired and get to work. Shavings are going everywhere. I need plenty for the fire demonstrations. Using a pen, I hastily scrub it out. Human presentation. Fire. I get the feeling this is not going to end well. A group slowly gathers around. Uh, hello everyone. I'm Anon. A human, if you haven't noticed. I think it will, honestly. Also, I didn't realize this until just now. But look at the fucking background. <laughs> You might notice a, a, a you might notice a certain trio in the background. Ignore the ignore the body pillow. But just hmm, I see a certain trio here. I'll I'll give you at the very least starting now a minute. I'll give you a minute to go and find out what I'm talking about. What's in the background? And if you don't find it within the minute, then I will simply just tell you. I'll simply just point and tell you. Thirty seconds remain. Well, at least you're honest, eh, champs? Right here. You see that? Look, look who's here. You can actually see them. They're in the fucking background. It's very small, but you can, but if you're like me, you can actually kind of like see their. You actually can kind of tell by just their silhouettes. And I'm, and I'm, and I just, it's like I noticed that. I'm like, wow, look at that. They're actually like here, here. Which is kind of impressive when you think about it. I've. <laughs> Maybe they are. I don't know. But they're there in the fucking background. And it's like, I just noticed that. How the fuck do they know about our lives? <laughs> and then it's like, and then everyone else just looks at Stella and just be like, how, it's like, how the fuck did you do that to Sage? <laughs> anyway. Oh, man. Who knows why the fuck they're here? Other than basically... Constant cameo appearances from the looks of it. I'm a nod, a human if you haven't noticed. Today I will demonstrate uh, one of the core skills we humans uh, use to survive. Fire! Words come from the crowd. So we're going to get the sticks on tiny shavings. Feels like an attorney of rubbing wood. My hands are getting sore. 
He's making fire indoors. Can he do that? If that smoke hits the fire alarm, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is how caveman makes pop. Oh shit! No, my project! What the heck is going on? It's going to be ruined. Dios mio! Fuck! 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 I'm not even. Fuck! Never trust a janitor with bad grammar. It's hot. It's too damn hot for this. And on! Donde si chinga. Chingado estas go with the pot potting fertilizer. I swear to god, give me strength. If we have to work in this heat. I can't believe you lit a fire in the school gym. Hey, it would have been really cool if the fire alarms hadn't gone off. Plus, you told me to do it. You guys said, it would be really interesting. Si. También te dije que los... También te dije que lo hagas seguro. Como atendí, tiro fuera. Lejos de los sistemas rociadores. Estúpido. Uh-huh. Right. Anon, you need to start thinking ahead before you act. You keep gliding through life without taking responsibility for your actions. You're going to miss the important details that'll that'll save you from heartache. It's like they like they say, es tiempo de po ponerte las pilas. I have no idea what that means. Now go and grab more bag of fer fertilizer, por favor. You need the gym if you got bags of fertilizer. What the fuck? Oh god, it's you again! Hey, and all? The hell are you doing here? The hell are you doing in the bushes? What the fuck? Don't you know? Naughty kids have to drink from the fire hose. Wait, what the shit fuck? Open wide! We died that day. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> and now it plays this music instead. <laughs> oh, so apparently it's like potted plant. Whatever the heck she has. It's tribalistic. Omne do from eyes! <laughs> Where'd the water go? <laughs> Anon died from janitor. <laughs> Pretty much. Nice. Oh my god, look at all these little doodles everywhere. Yeah, alternate ending. Apparently we suck. <laughs> I can't... What the heck? Click. Tack attack attack. Stella, what the frick? What are you thinking about? What? I wanna go back to gardening. <laughs> tack attack attack. Hey look, there's Judy. I almost makes me think this was actually made by the same people, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh my god, this is still going. <laughs> what the fuck? Ho oh, oh. ho! <laughs> what? Why, why are you holding the baguette? <laughs> Would kill for some poutine right about now. I've. What? I, <laughs> I cooked the whole la pizza. <laughs> what? Sin pe peldad. What? They go to other people this new community some other nature that's great as ever. And then this right here. Yay! The fucking janitor music. Which we're hearing right now. Tequila! <laughs> Tequila what? The acoustic cover? It was a cover song? Well, I wouldn't know. Something something in the tonight. 
playing. So that was an interesting end. That was a very interesting end. Thank you for playing. No, thank you for basically re making me re-experience that. Anyway, there is at least some more other mods we actually got off here. The one I actually managed to get was this one called Revenge of the Dweeb. Let's see what this is all about. Ah, uh, where is it? It's too late for this shit. We don't have to tutor those brats today. I could have taken an earlier flight. <laughs> Snoo game remake, but everyone's a chibi size of being a full fledged RPG. Chibi Fang. Oh no. She's even more kawaii desu. But then it's like, you look at like Chibi Stella, and it's like, oh no! I would actually, I would actually kill to get, to actually, if, if someone actually did make those, just chibi models, th like three-dimensional chibi models of all the, of all the cast, because you bet your ass I would just waste my money on that. <laughs> anyway, been looking forward to this for weeks. God fucking damn, where's the suitcase? Ah. Uh. Wait, how many how many party members would are in the game in, in Mario Super Mario RPG? Because I, I'm off the top of my head, I remember there only being like I think five. There it is. Found a fuck ton of other bags. Good thing I didn't pick pack anything fragile. There, got it. Passing through the gate, I spot up. A bald human carrying a sign reading Fang. That's her actual last name. Aaron? Aaron. Huh. Sounded by crudely drawn hearts. <laughs> hey, guy, mind your own business. God, his penmanship is still atrocious. He hasn't spotted me yet. What did I surprise him of it? Well, what are we doing? I circle around my prey using the hordes of people arriving in the party as cover. That was right about humans. They can't see shit. <gasps> Are we gonna do. <gasps> Are we gonna do a surprise attack? The skinny dweeb still hasn't spotted me. Pathetic. <gasps> ah, it's been too long since we got hugged by Fang. This is a nice feeling. <laughs> gotcha! Fang? I... Aww... I miss you so much. Missed you too, dweeb. Fuck, what a long time for this. Only girl in my arms again. You're mumbling again! Huh? Sorry. Don't be. It's cute. It's called a snoot feeling. <laughs> Perhaps it is. Perhaps. How's the flight? Got to see between two obese T Rex. Oh fuck. <laughs> How was the smell? You don't wanna know. Can we go fetch a taxi? I wanna get out of this airport. Of course. Come on. Oh uh, heck yeah. Leave the airport hand in hand. A non show an unusual assertiveness and as he raises his hand high to hail a taxi. One comes screeching to a halt right next to us. I send my luggage in the trunk of the taxi and join Anon in the back seat. Motherfucker, you're here too What the fuck? Wait two kids. The driver looks really familiar. I can't, I can't, it can't be the same guy that drove us to prom. How the fuck are you everywhere? Are you a freaking god? Maybe a relative? No matter. What's the location of the hotel again? Bright Valley Student Dorms. What? The raptor looks at us in a rear view mirror for a moment. You two sure don't want to go somewhere more private? <laughs> right? 
Like, how the fuck did he know what was gonna happen with Fang in the bad ending? How the frick does this guy know? Like, goddamn, man. How does he know? That perverted dickweed. <laughs> okay, okay, watch the seats. That shut him up. Take the go towards the road. And now it's going way over the speed limit. Jar made a point, though. Right? I swear to God, if he makes an appearance again in freaking Wani, I, I'm weird. We're, at this point, we're literally just gonna have to call him, like, a freaking. <laughs> we're gonna have to call this guy one of those, like, foreign, unknownable god entities. Hey, on, why are we going to your dorms? I thought we'd be going to a hotel straight away. I just stopped by to pick some up something. Let's take a few minutes. Something's not right. Why couldn't he have picked it up before heading to the airport? I guess he must have forgotten something. You sure you need it right now? I promise it won't take long. I'll make it up to you tonight for taking you to a fancy restaurant like you always wanted. Huh. <gasps> Wait. I know, you know we can't afford it. I really scrapped a bit of money for the ticket in the hotel room. Of course, you're still thinking about the Anonverse. I cannot but let my eyes wander to the road ahead as I think of the tutoring I've had to do. Tutoring those spoiled brats on how to play piano might pay well, but holy shit, they are insufferable. I'll take my hand and give it a reassuring squeeze. Don't worry about it, Fang. I've got it all handled. Ugh, that we probably, probably thought that sounded cool. I'm almost thinking of like next Sunday to literally just do something ridiculous and just re and just do nothing but read fan fiction. I'm almost tempted to do that, but then again, I'm not sure if I trust myself not to go ahead and and literally laugh at me if there's if there's gonna be like poor grammar choices or some shit. <laughs> again, almost tempted, but I'm not entirely set on set in stone about it yet. Taxi tires leave you long streaks as the car slides into an empty parking spot. Anon pauses it and grab. Anon pauses as grabs the door handle. We'll be back in a second. Keep the meter running. You got it. What, what is that? You got it, buddy. I step outside the taxi for Anon grabs my hand. He practically dragging me behind him as he rushes through the dorm halls. He looks a bit winded. Maybe I should ask him to slow down. Whew, we're here. Nice place. Is this your dorm, Anon? It smells like sweat and steel chips. Yeah! What? Who's laughing now, faggots? The room is full of guys stuffing their faces with junk food. <laughs> A few of them start choking out the food as they turn to look at me. <laughs> what the fuck? I fucking told you she was my girlfriend! They're not happy. <laughs> you gotta be kidding! Oh, she's even doing this! God damn it! <laughs> Holy shit, he just kicked his chair across the room. Yeah, now cough up the cat! <laughs> That's what this is all about! A fucking bet! Anana's begrudgingly handed several wads of this. <laughs> now I can find a ticket to the kind of day you deserve. Later, bitches. Come on, taxi guy is waiting. <laughs> Anana's was static as he walked towards the exit. <laughs> They're still staring at me. <laughs> Did he seriously just make a bet with his roommates? And just be like, and then we're like, bro, I don't believe you got a GF. You're too fucking pathetic to have a GF, bro. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, you wanna bet? You wanna bet? <laughs> did, did, did he literally make a bet before they came in to <laughs> Is. <laughs> He literally, he, he literally, he literally made a bet with his roommates to see if his Dino GF was real. 
I begin waving awkwardly at them. Bye, guys. Can't get to get out of nice to meet you all. Yeah, please just get out. <laughs> the fancy restaurant better be fucking great. Oh, I missed that dweeb. Aww. Aww, that's cute. They're holding hands. Is that it? Oh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that was, that was, that wasn't bad. That was, that was not bad. <laughs> I still can't believe that. It's like, he did that. He made a fucking bet. And was like. Yup. Oh my god. He made a fucking bet. Alright, by the way, I don't know if you saw this earlier, but ca the Carfe Tour inside, there's nothing all that interesting. It's literally just like a menu with just this. What the- wait, what the fuck? Wait, what happened to my bonus chapters? Did they get moved? Well, to show it off... You know, you know it's not gonna happen. As much as you, as much as you keep wishing on stars, it's not gonna happen. Anyway, you basically go to read. They basically ask you to go and drink some, you know, human-friendly car. You're like, why not? And this will basically take you to like these, where you can just view the scenes. But now it's in here instead. I just look what happens if you sober immediately, though, because I didn't know this. You'll actually, you back? <laughs> He's actually impressed by the fact that we immediately recovered. Yeah, that's still better than I can say, huh? Or, uh, I didn't mix it up right. You figured, you figured that out, Reed. You figured that out. Anyway, now we have a terrific night out. Is this the same one as last time? Because I'm I sure that was like double date. The evening sun covers the parking lot, a comforting ember glow as the intense summer heat of all caliber of lust finally started to die down for today. It's almost a shame that Fang and I are going to spend the last few hours of today's sunlight indoors. Now that we graduate, I have to begin, begin paying back what I owe from the lunch card. To make matters worse, rent suddenly also became a problem when the lease ran out. Luckily, Uncle Mo came to my rescue when he offered me a job. So I did not expect wage slaving to be that exhausting. In addition to being initiated into the horrors of co concocting Italian cuisine, frequent birthday parties and musical events repeatedly forced me to work overtime. <laughs> I mean, it's not a bad thing to go and do that, but I'm just wondering, like... <laughs> like, bro, what? <laughs> There's no longer stare, stare at my... Any class... No, share any class with Fang. We didn't spend that much time time together anymore. That's sad. So Mo gave me this Friday evening off. Fang wanted to have a night out. Just the two of us. She had the best ideas for us to go to the movies. Well, I watched... Well, I wanted to go tr to try an arcade that Reed recommended. As we sh sh short back and forth, eventually caved in to Fang's idea. Painful memories of her curve stopping me at primal rage made reluctant to further humiliation at the arcade. And Fang didn't agree with the fact that watching movies at cinemas is an inherently inferior experience compared to the torrents, as you can watch at home. Some of the torrents I find for new movies always having garbage quality and distractions like loud coughing. Pure nonsense. But I'll never have this victory. I mean, why not? Better, to tr better try before movie theaters go the way of the dinosaurs. I should probably rephrase the last part. And now here we are. Anon! And what guys were both movies the Anon! Hey, I'm sorry. Oh, right. Sorry the mumbling got annoying. It didn't get annoying, you dweeb. You're actually sort of well spoken when you mumble. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's the funny part, isn't it, right? It's like he sounds it's like when he mumbles, it's like he actually sounds not bad, but then he starts actually speaking and it's just like, never mind. 
it's pretty nice to listen to. We're well, not mumbling about me, that is. That is just adorable! <laughs> I feel my face warming slightly. <laughs> what the hell, Fang? What the hell? Fang and I have been dating for months now. Why do I still blush so easily? Because your mind cannot comprehend that you went from shit poster to now having an actual Dino GF. It's just, you know, the movie starts in a few, so we probably shouldn't spend too much time audibly reflecting over li life in a parking lot. Fair enough. Wait, I'm not well spoken normally? I mean, you are what you need to be. I don't think I've forgotten our therapy session. But you do spend a lot of time rambling about cartoons and stuff. Guilty as charged. Now come on. One last thing, Fang. Are you completely sure you don't want me to just find a torrent of the movie at home? And I know you're not a fan of crowds, but for fuck's sake, let's just try to have an actual date. What do you mean? We have plenty of- No. A late night rock ring to death match marathon doesn't count as an actual date. I mean, sad to say, but yeah, it doesn't. Not by normal people, at least. How would you know? <laughs> My star grins, grins me a jab in the shoulder. Alright, I deserve that one. Let a sensible chuckle as Fang tries to hide her smirk behind a raised finger. Worth it! That's it. I'm having your daily allowed share of Dino Nucky. <laughs> No! Not my Dino Nuggies! But having zero is just so <laughs> Yes. Now stop fucking around before, before we actually miss the beginning. Alright, if you insist. What movie are they gonna see? Jurassic Park? You approach the entrance to the building. I push in on the heavy glass doors and hold them open for my date. Fang stops for a moment, slightly taken aback by the gesture. Way to reinforce gender norms. Dork. Tries to hide the increasingly redding face by turning her head away as she walks through the door. <laughs> There's a bomb strapped to my chest, and the only cure is more dino nuggies. <laughs> Almost bumping her feet into the door as she does so. Guess on loan, still being flustered easily. Puts the door behind us and spend a second taking in the scene. It's been literally years since I've put in a movie theater, and I'm certain it's for the best. This place is packed. Stressed out families with, with noisy kids, groups of preteens are raising the ambient sound levels to deafening volumes. <laughs> no. <laughs> now that's actually one I actually didn't realize was supposed to be one. <laughs> Now, now I actually want to try and find it for a second. What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, actually, well, I have to turn off the sound for a second then because it's like, oh boy. Uh, we're, there we go. Don't give me ads. God damn! <laughs> Anon, there's a bomb strapped to my chest, and it's going to explode unless you give me more dino nuggies. <laughs> we literally all I have to do is just change parts of it this one. 
The walls are littered with posters advertising all kinds of trash that makes it a big screen nowadays. And the dead eyed stare of the staff completes com the scene with an added sense of dread. Is this what normies do for fun? <laughs> fun fact. Wanna, do you want to guess what my sister's name is? Here's a hint. She's a normie. You should you should ask the community for that then. What the fuck? What? What? While loading. Uh. 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 Script call. Entrance. Couldn't find entrance. That's gonna take a lot of screeching. <laughs> also, when I say when when neither of you get the re, if you actually if you actually did see last stream, we actually played a bunch of like fight you know random fighting games, and one of them was apparently a JoJo's Bizarre Adventure fighting game, and it was oddly not that bad. I pressed the wrong fucking button. Damn it! No, I pressed. The Ugh. Oh, Greg, I have to wait for... No, I know that the... I know that the, the, there was a JoJo fighting game that existed, which I... You know, which being the... Uh, I think it was like called... All-Star Battle or something like that. I know... Well, keep it, the, I know all of it was like part three. That's, that's how much all I know about it. The best part that I actually got to do in that game was literally just got to be freaking Jotaro and got to ora 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 all those freaking zombies to death. Well, the part that I'm at was the was uh, the Steely Dam part, and the annoying part with Steely Dam was the fact that it suddenly turned into a goddamn gradius. And I don't know about you, but I ain't gradius anyway. Let's see if it'll. Yep. Okay, it'll stop me. No! Fuck! Go back! Stop! Okay, here we go. That's what easily movie theater, fast packs. <laughs> sure. Really? Never in your life have you seen anything remotely, anything about JoJo. I mean, dude, the entire show is on Netflix. It's literally all in Netflix. <laughs> it's also one of the few shows I know for a fact that people back then mislabeled as, I guess because apparently, you know, muscular men cannot be allowed to do funny poses. Back, back in the ye old days, I remember actually hearing how they actually thought it was like, you know, somewhat homosexual. Then again, IGN still seems to think that Yakuza is still a GTA clone, which is far from the truth. So I guess there's supposed to be like a background that for some reason is not loading. Wait till I think our tickets. It's surprisingly short compared to the amount of movie goers present. Reached the front of the line after a short wait. The staff member handling the ticket is a distantly purple, aging triceratops with an intense, bulging right eye. That has to be in a class, right? Seems to treat every other movie goer with not so subtle disdain. Strangely, his whole demeanor completely changes when it becomes ours from the line. 
Good, good evening, Mr. Caveman, sir. <laughs> right? We can use our imagination. How can I help you? Sir? I remember the last time a Don addressed me by sir. It's usually replaced by skinny, spear chucker, or sp spurg lord. Still don't know how the last one relates to being human. Yeah, Zeal Feathers is being service minded. How nice. Uh, here we go to tickets ordered by Lucy Aaron. Two tickets, Lucy, Mama. M Mama. This is a date, ain't it? The old timer starts fawning over the thought. Ah, none quite as beautif beautiful as young love between two. <laughs> between two humans. How is this guy that that old? What? Actually, where's Lucky Gal though? She didn't run, run out on ya, did she? <laughs> what? What? I'm just as lost as you are. The confused fossil chuckles heartedly. Hey, excuse me! She's actually standing right beside him! The two is one drift which twisted to one of pure malice like he connects the dots. This is going to get ugly, isn't it? <laughs> Sweet game by Jason's what's this world come to? I don't like the sound of that. Is there a problem, sir? Damn right there is! A fine, a fine young human like yourself paying up, <laughs> paired up with some media dodger! <laughs> now that's just a damn shame. What the fuck? Are we dealing with Trisha's <laughs> strangled uncle? Maybe. Is it Trish? Is it Trish that goes to Triceratops? <laughs> that would explain a lot, <laughs> a lot actually. I swear to God, what's happening? So I reckon there ain't none you can Meteor Dodger! Oh, why the fuck did you just say that? <laughs> Screw you, you specious dick ward! Thanks to those dilate in pure rage. Like a triggered apex predator, right to tear it into the neck of her bigoted prey. Have you been looking in the mirror lately? You're a fucking dino yourself, retard! The triggery trigger now looks more insulted than anything. Now then, Miss Triassic, ain't no need to insult me by reminding me of my skin condition. Huh? You have no idea how much time it takes filling these bony growth down. And the money I spent on the ointment applied to keep my skin from turning purple. Excuse me, the fuck, what? Even worse, most folks think I'm some goddamn lettuce muncher. Holy mother of mental gymnastics. Don't change the subject! No one about to kick your shit in! situation has escalated quickly. Wait. They don't call me a meteor dodger for now. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of impressed that there should actually be a mod where instead of playing as Dante in those games, you're just playing as Fang. You're just instead of playing as Fang, you know, shooting the guns, using the swords. Because I could, I could actually imagine him doing the whole no talking thing, as I mentioned. Just <laughs> no talking. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Dante has like twin pistols and all that shit. I mean, come on, Fang could probably actually do it. Come on. <laughs> You could probably just use low poly fang to do it if you so wanted to. <laughs> or better yet, if you actually wanted to go even further further beyond with this, literally just add a mod where you can just put flushes on 
on the on the main characters, and it'd just be the funniest thing just seeing like, say like for example like like Fang on top of something on top of like so, like the main characters had like fucking Dante or like Kratos or something. It's just like it's like you can't take this serious because I have the Snoot game on top of my head. I don't know. I have crazy ideas like that all the time. But, uh, like, go, going back to this guy, is he, like, is, is he, like, I, I want to say, like, this, this, this guy here must be, like, he must be, like, mentally not good. Make a scene, diffuse situation. Well, this looks like a job for me to just, uh, uh Make a scene. All right. Fuck this old guy. Hey. Fuck you don't talk to my girlfriend like that. <gasps> he recalls in shock. I'm expecting to get yelled at by a human. Now it's the caveman. Please be reasonable. Oh, swallow a cock. Reasonable. You called her meteor dodger, and I wanted to be reasonable. Iroh! Well, he ain't talking like Iroh, that's for sure. Fang and I joined forces to hurt like abuse against the old fuck. <laughs> the other movie goes to the gun start staring at the spectacle. I think I'm going to be sick. Fang doesn't to mind, though. Alright, alright, no more. I apologize. Really? Re really? I mean, you better! Here's your tickets. Now go for what I call police. Please, y'all scaring out other decent folk here. Graf banks the two tickets and leads us away from the entrance hall. Virtually everyone here is staring at us now. My heart is racing. My legs are turned to spaghetti. Hooray, we did it. We pleased the waifu. We're not caving into that bigot fuck. And eh, no pun intended. They hate being center of attention like that, but uh, it meant a lot. Aww. Don't worry about it, I'm just- I'm not just gonna stand by if someone insults you. But- but at what cost? Thing is multiple public outbursts in short while I've known her. Just now- just now, being what the one doing the outburst, I just don't realize how alienating it really is. So I have to admit, joining in with Fang in one actually feels kinda good in some weird way. The look of subtle reassurance on her face tells me that I've been cathartic for her too. Fang is closer towards me as we walk and pulls her arms around my, my waist while rests the, the side of her head on my shoulder. I'm hungry. Let's go buy some movie night grub. Good idea. Fang goes to the movie theater's con concession stand. Fang is eyeing down some sugary candy for as long as I'm able to focus on the dark <laughs> revelation that awaits me. The one thing that kept me up in anticipation and anxiety. Hey Dweeb, want a snicker? <laughs> okay. Anon? Sweet Raptor Jesus! Ten dollars for fucking popcorn?! What were they thinking?! Again with this? Fine, we ignore. Just use your imagination, guys. Use your imagination that they're in a theater. Family Snickers that are in. Eminent financial doom. Drama queen. This is serious, Fang. <laughs> I will never financially recover from this. <laughs> you should have let me sneak in, stick in the dino nuggies then. <laughs> like I'd be allowed to have any. Oh, so where exactly would you hide them? She actually has to think for a second. My trench coat? Do you actually unironically own a trench coat? Yes? No way. Why would I see you wear it then? Where would you? At school? <laughs> Leave me alone! 
<laughs> bang, bang, bang. Ah! I may have been edgy, but I'm not retarded. A bit. Oh, fuck off. Pumped up kicks start playing in my head and laughing at the mental image of Fang as some edgelord angel of death. And then a horrible chill runs down my spine. You there or not? Huh? Yeah, I just zoned out for a bit. The fuck was that? Price that got you dizzy? Sure has. You have for good old tap water instead? I think I brought a bottle with me. Shot a chief skate. Luckily, Fang pointed out a promotional deal marketed towards couples. Financial ruin averted. Convenience asserted. Aww. Well, okay, let's see what the fuck happens if we... <laughs> let's see, what if we defuse? Everyone by getting thrown out. We apologize if we've done anything to offend you, sir. But my girlfriend and I just want to enjoy quiet eating ourselves. Probably does be able to force out. Deflates completely. Well, well, no surprise there. Leave it to the caveman to be the reasonable one. Don't worry, I forgive the both of you. Between me and you, Mr. Caveman, you really could do a whole lot better than this here extinction for longer. <laughs> I, I wanna, I, it's a good thing I went for that first option because, wow, this is absolute fuck you. Oh, wow, oh. Why would you dare sit to my GF? But ain't Matt. My place to pry. Here's the ticket. Y'all have a good evening now. Gotta do it at least before she goes nuclear. Why did the cave, cave is that bigoted old fuck? I didn't want to cause a scene. Didn't want to cause a scene. He called me a fucking meteor dodger. I know, I'm sorry. But sometimes you have to accept an insult and move on. Thanks for telling me she doesn't exactly agree. Eh, whatever. We gotta take it. I need some snacks. Good idea. Reception stand. Snickers. Is everything here the same? So is, so is it literally just like... <laughs> is it literally just like testing me as the player? Let's see. Recover. My trench coat. I wonder what happened. Well, okay, that's just pointless. So basically, it really is just like, <laughs> it really is just like, you still with your GF or not? Anyway. We also got the Mo job. Yeah, remember he actually got a job at Mo's? Someone actually, for some reason, I guess, made a mod of, like, that scene. Monday again. Fuck, back to Volcano High. Spring break went by all too quickly. I'm still tired. It sucks not getting enough rest. It was just way too much to do. I never had a chance for a breather. I worked like never before. The days were exhausting. The nights were even worse. Now I understand why... Why dad was such a tired mess with the long day at the repair shop. The bell rings, from the te technicolor mess loitering around the stairs to start pouring into the building. Might as well follow them. The morning classes were easy enough to get to get through an autopilot. Well, there are many games of character creators. There are many. Actually, wait, I need, actually, wait, I need to check something really quick. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Well, I wasn't looking. Well, I wasn't looking. It happened. Holy shit. I'm actually curious though which one the which one of these fucking was it? Oh 
<laughs> what the fuck? Well, that's, that's one of a movie poster. Damn, I can't tell. One of these... Excluding that one. What, what the fuck? Oh no, she doesn't exist. Okay, wait a minute. If <laughs> well, I might as well share this with you. <laughs> you want to remove the face? Anyway, I do have I do actually have some good news, by the way, in case you haven't noticed. And those good news is I'm gonna go to you. Is that I was trying to get to the fucking thing? Uh, let's see, let it go. Yep. Nine fucking thousand. Nine thousand. It, it it had just re. I I literally I literally kept checking. I saw it the last time when I was there, just this morning. It was like close to like getting to that nine thousand. There are now over nine thousand. Nine thousand different pictures, which is insane. Again, that's in fucking insane. I wish, I wish I knew which one was actually the 9,000. That's my problem. I just really wish I knew which one was the 9,000. So I'm like, which one was it? Which one of these is supposed to be the 9,000? I can't tell. They're all just... Ah! God damn it. I will, I will say this though. This image right here is pretty much. Oh god damn it! I'm pretty sure the reason why Anon does not actually allow a certain. I'm pretty sure the reason Anon does not allow Fang to ever go out is literally, is literally this fucking image right here. Oh my god. Eh. The 100 Sonic. Wow, at the same time. This is yeah, this is why Anon does not allow Fang to go out to go out buy anything. Because the entire goddamn car was just full of nothing but dino nuggies. Like holy shit, there's too many! Woman! You can slow down on those nuggies. Right? My money! I have no fucking idea what this is what this is a reference to. I have no fucking idea what this is a reference to. But, I, but I'm just like, <laughs> holy shit. These fans are fucking crazy, man. They're absolutely fucking crazy. Fuck. Yeah, that would fucking happen. I don't know. But yeah, that, that's just insane. Just fucking 9,000 on the thing.
Anyway, we're wasting enough time just posting the memes. Hallway feels familiar. There's a comforting sight. Mr. Bell's missing being in school is a mixed experience. Enter room, I notice the tired eyes of everyone else drift, drifting around the room. Twelve students chat about what they did, everything from meeting up and going on a road trip to playing the newest... Gizzard title? Gizzard? What? I'm I'm betting this is supposed to be like Blizzard. <laughs> if I actually knew what said movie is supposed to be... Christ. Fang Aaron is Fang Aaron. Massive snoot. There's some casualized MOBA star in the hottest IPs. Plebeians harbor shit taste. No surprise. Carlos coughs to draw attention away from the newest ass packets champion rebalance. Once he has the club's attention, he starts putting out pages of textbooks and starts reading them as he draws up a diagram on the board. In terms of hit, she was a class. Most compa- For sure. R and Ver- Yep, definitely one of the classes of all time. Can't focus on anything, Mr. Mr. Carl Kraduski says though. My eyes are getting heavy. Shit, where am I? Stop doing that! Are we invisible? So skinny, where's your head gone gone this time? You're more spaced out than usual, man. How did I make it here without noticing? Shit, I even picked up lunch. Impressive. Hello? He's left orbit. You know, I was that I was like that once when I spaced out on car, woke up and Bank punches me on the arm. Then I got a surprise to actually interrupt Reed's com coming monologue with my sudden outcry. Earth to Anon! Calling Anon! Please respond! Over! Yep, yep, yes. But my eyes trying to regain some sense of consciousness. I'm here! Welcome back from, from your trip. I've missed you. I think he is supposed to be here, but for some reason he's just invisible! <laughs> For some reason. Fang gives me a quick peck on the cheek. <laughs> and Trish stares daggers at me. All's right with the world. Yet the smooch triumphs. Finally grabbed him. I just gives a beat and I can feel myself start to blush. I could get used to this. I've missed her. Didn't have the time ready to catch up with her during the week. Even if everything was her idea to begin with. So how's work? I hardly reach you this week. Other than the time we actually visited. Do you save up enough for your video game consoles? You seem to be having fun. I'm not made to tell us about it! Your first foray into life as a proud worker bee! Well, I got some good stories to share. All of a sudden, I feel myself slowly slipping back into the darkness that ripped me out of, of Carl Dusky's class. So, very tired. Cafeteria table applied directly to the forehead. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Maybe later. Get yourself together. You must have something fun happen. I got something to wake you up. You need it. Is it Carf? I'm not totally convinced that I want to try whatever it is that he's going. He's got in his magic bag. Go ahead. Don't leave us hanging. I'm not getting out of it this time, am I? No, you're not. Shit. Mumbling. Alright, so I'm at my first real day, so... Is this actually- Oh my god, how long is this? How long is this gonna be? Uh... Oh. What is- I'm an avid episode of Is 
it does seem that way. Let's see how. Let's see how many more times. Let's let me, let me go ahead and just save and see how many times this happens. Let's see. That was that was like what two or three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ow. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, uh huh, 32, 33, 34, 35. 36, 37, 30, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, I'm not doing some errors, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, what the fuck is happening, what, okay, uh, uh, take the fang, don't care about you, Trish, uh, I lost it, what, what was the last count, 60 something? Fuck. Okay, we're, we're I know it's like okay. We're gonna say like sixty-seven. Okay, yeah. Sixty-eight. Sixty-nine. Nice. Seventy. Damn. Seventy-one. And that was it. Ah, I guess it was to explain that picture. It should have. The one I actually got even actually says Mo job final patch eight. So I don't understand like what happened. Yeah, there's supposed to be like edits of Anon wearing the cape. Uh, some weird, some weird shit. <laughs> so I'm in a unique. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh. We meet Principal Spears' wife. Yeah, apparently he has a wife in this mod. Can you guess what her name is? It's also Fang. What the fuck? Oh god. Yeah. It's literally Fang from Primal. And it's like, it's like, it's literally might as well be Spears' fucking wife, because it's like, ah. There's, all the assets are in here too. There's a hand holding scene. It's a honestly well, it doesn't look that great. <laughs> There's a it's it's Trish wearing a wig for some odd reason. A yeah, right. A character by the name of Nessie, who has the longest fucking neck I've ever seen in life. And apparently it gets red when angry. Some guy called Paul Lee. Fucking pizza icon. I don't even want to know who the fuck these other guys are. Angry as fuck children. Fucking Tony? Who the hell is that? <laughs> There's actually a Spongebob card in here. 20 minutes later. Is 
<laughs> Momo really did not have any animations at all, so this one actually gives him some emos. He has a cigar in his mouth, closed mouth, open mouth, open. <laughs> Rotation. Shock. Oh god, he actually opens his eye. It looks like he's about to kill me. <laughs> and Mo without his hat, which is very weird. So why the fuck did it not actually come up here? Yeah, audio assets are all in here. Music, images. So what the fuck happened? What? Like, seriously, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, and, and there's a there's a funny image. I got I gotta share this with you at least. This is this was pretty fucking funny. They made it funny. I'm very confused. I was like, why is there two of them? Why is one of them not working over the other? Because I can't, I can't actually believe like fucking hell. Why, what? Wouldn't that actually be funny if it actually turns out that it's like the reason Fang calls herself Fang is because she's just trying to sound edgy, but literally it's just trying to take like her grandma's name, which is literally that Fang. <laughs> Too real? Probably. But you gotta admit, for an old granny, it's like my name is Fang. Remember the read me? I tried to enjoy your mod, but for some odd reason, it doesn't want to fucking work. That is, unless I have to do something stupid, like, do I have to put the demo with it? I'm so lost, like, why, why did it not work? Why did it not fucking work? I don't understand that shit at all. <sighs> Let's see, was, is there anything else left? Uh, <laughs> I have no fucking clue. Oh my god, I'm like, hmm. Hmm. I'm almost tempted to almost actually commit, you know, do a funny. Think about it, but I'm like, hmm, hmm. And then I think about it. We actually never did check the uh, other two of the Moon Princess, did we? At least it's going to give us something else to do with, with how much runtime we have left. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, let's, okay, let's not visit Fang. We, where did, where did the say hi to her? 
Actually, wait a minute. There is... There is actually something I do actually want to point out if the skip isn't still on. Okay, it isn't. Yeah, so remember what I talked about? It's like this character here, Tracy, is actually a reference. That's not a joke. Sad to say, the game does not exist. There's like one video in existence that actually shows what could have been. And I gotta admit, low poly Tracy is actually pretty heckin' cute. If I actually could, I would actually just find those assets and just finish the game myself. It's not like I have anything better to do besides sitting here, waiting, eternally. Then again, one project at a time, as they say. But yeah, <laughs> game not exist. Sad day. Anyway, sad that we're going to avoid the Le Stella. Let's see, blah 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 blah. Anything interesting happen because of this? Uh, let's see, it's kind of cold. Got some weather. No. Everyone's got morning practice. I still love this thing right here. <laughs> Flowers? Really? You're such a dork anon. What's next? A teddy bear? And don't forget your sneakers when you decide to serenade under my window. That's a pretty good runner. I love that. Uh, blah 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 blah. Yeah, Reed's not with Trish. Alright? Doesn't respond. Might as well let her be for now. Fade away. Eight o'clock. I was never some guy because of recent happenings at the school. How's the council doing? It's a fucking du yeah, it's dumpster fire. Blah blah blah. Lunch time, bitch. Place full of people as usual. All right, so here's the other two choices we didn't make. Yeah, join Nasser, Naomi, or join Trish. So let's go from top to bottom and see what happens if I join these two. Feel kind of bad for Nasser. Try to take, try to take some heat off him. Naomi can be a headache if she's too enthusiastic about something. So I walked down the aisle with my tray. I realized that Naomi's a bit more excited than usual, and not in a good way. Oh god. I've had it with this school! Naomi, listen, you gotta chill. I will chill when I see those people out of this establishment and on the street corner! She was truly going off. Now is my entrance. Hey, you two, what's going on? Oh, but no, none of you to drop by. Listen, we've. Shut it, dear. Oh shit. Oh. Anon, sit. Naomi's tone was stone cold now. Sat at their table trying to keep my distance from Naomi in case she starts throwing things. Oh boy. Anon, as you know, our school prides itself on its ability to prove each of our students with the opportunities they need to unleash their full potential. However, in recent times, it became increasingly difficult to achieve. As I found out yesterday, the budget for our extracurricular activities is completely unbalanced. Obviously, I started crunching the numbers. Turns out, the money is disappearing into nowhere. That is, no one knows where it's going. My dear Nash's team can't even buy new equipment because of it. <laughs> can we steal Nasser away from the sheep even? Uh That's what <laughs> I I don't think Anon is gay. Last I checked. Anyway. It's really no big deal. Our equipment is perfectly. Shut it, dear! Jesus Christ. 
Master flints like a kid being scolded by his mother. <laughs> Na naturally, I can't let this stand. However, once I started rallying the student council to work just a bit of overtime and solve this problem, those bums told me they have other things to do! Naomi's usual peach colored skin was turning redder by the moment, and not in a good way. Imagine the sheer impertinence! Why are they even wa wasting oxygen in the student council office? They won't do it. their jobs! <laughs> by the power of fan fiction invested in me, you will now be horny for gay. Anyway, <laughs> I began to fear for Nash's health because he was turning pale. Almost all attention in the cafeteria was on Iomi and her sudden outburst now. Only Trish seemed undisturbed by it. Still deep in thought about something that we do not care about. Naomi noticed if I decided to dial down the fury. Ahem. Sorry for, sorry for this. Please focus back on their food. Naomi looked down, downright crushed. You look like you're about to pop a vein. I get that things are hard, but you should relax. That's what I've been saying! Relax, Naomi, you'll figure it out, I'm sure. Naomi is looking at us somewhat appreciatively now. Ah, <sighs> thank you both. Honestly, I'm at my wit's end. Nothing is going well today. First, the auditorium had a short circuit of some kind. A lot of very expensive equipment is not working. Thankfully, we managed to find a student who agreed to help. Ah, so that's what Reed disappeared to. But now my laptop also broke, and I have a ton of sensitive information on it. I need it ASAP. Going back for a bit. Sensitive information. What kind of sensitive information? I want to know. What kind of, what kind, what do you have on your laptop? I know what I have on my laptop. I can agree with the sentiment, but I'm just saying, what do you have on it? Well, I'm trying to figure the budget out. I simply don't have time to deal with it. And of course, no one wants to help me. The student council office has been empty the whole day. At this point, NASA has decided to butt in. Would have loved to help, but honestly, I don't understand this stuff at all. But I'm not, I'm sure you do, right? Does my face look like it understands what you're going on about? I see you fixed Fang's computer before, you were a pro! She forgot her password, it wasn't a complicated issue. I see where this is going from miles away. See, that's what I'm talking about! <laughs> Naomi looked at me with pleading eyes. Anna, could you help me out? Please, I really have no other options here. Just drop in my office after classes. I'm starting to wonder if this is all a plan of some kind. But I doubt it. This Naomi seems much more genuine than the usual one. I think I'll... Oh! Oh, we have a choice. Well, we're, I, we're, we're, digging, our, we're digging our heels in. Sure. Sure, why not? I have nothing better to do. I hear this Naomi clapped her hands, glowing with joy. Oh, thank you! You gotta mention how grateful I am! <laughs> Basically, we, we're, not, we're not doing this for Naomi, we're doing this because Nasser is a true bro. And we need to be a true bro back to go ahead and make sure things go good. Nasser gave me a thumbs up, I finally started eating his lunch. This reminds me, so I've been eating by myself. This tastes like processed cat food. Beats the unprocessed cat food flavor they usually serve, though. Just jump my office after you're done with classes. And you remember where, where it is, right? Sure I do. Wonderful, I'll be waiting. Oh, maybe I'll make some tea. What the fuck? I'm sure I'll have a great time. Tea? Tea? Fucking tea? I need to reiterate that. Tea. Tea. Of all things. Naomi was overjoyed. I guess that's what happens when something goes her way. Thanks, Anon. You saved our hides. How am I saving your hide? 
by being a bro. I hope I can help, but no guarantees. I'm not a computer scientist, you know. Of course, I appreciate any help I can get. So, I, so wait, they added a Stella, and then they added a Naomi route. And I'm guessing that means that there's gotta be a Trish route. Which is weird. Why T? Why T? I I don't understand either why they decided to go ahead and be like T. Just oh my god. We continue lunging in relative peace and silence. Eventually, I bid to farewell, head back to class. Well. As the afternoon wears on, students are seen walking through the hallways, chatting to each other. The end of the school day is slowly approaching, so I won't have to suffer much longer. I was walking towards my classroom. I, I asked, what a familiar face. Eh? It's your girl! It's your girl, Stella! By the music in the bag perfectly fits Stella's mood. Absolute happy. I'm playing with her tarot cards as usual. <laughs> oh, Anankun! Didn't see you there! Hello! The smell radiates happiness. Is this girl even capable of feeling down? Please drop the coon and never use it again. <laughs> right here. Oh yeah, now that, I, now that I've, I forgot to actually mention. Uh, just a couple minutes ago, I managed to finally, finally get, or re-get technically, my, the Persona 4 game. So because of it, I can now actually say I own the whole trilogy! If we don't count. If we don't count 1, one and 2, sadly. I now own all of them. Anyway. <laughs> Ever the bliss of ignorance. It's not usual games. So what you need right now. Fair enough. Oh. I want you to learn that trick. Damn, girl. I want to know about that trick. You doing okay? Sounds serious. It's all good otherwise. You influence your psyche. What got to do with me? God, look at her being so fucking happy. And then moody. Check this floor with me. Blah 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 blah. Hmm. Woo! See ya, Stella Chan. <laughs> oh, I'm so tempted to put that in. I'm so tempted to put the whole, uh, like, Kuhn and Chan in there, but it's like... Mm. It's just... Oh my god. So tempted. My grades can't afford to drop off, can they? Class period is over. Students leave the classroom, chatting happily about their plans for the evening. I sit in my chair and look outside the window. It was as nice as it was the whole day. Plug in the classroom's wall continues ticking away. 3.15. Now let me ask you to come by. Alright, let's see what uh, this actually has in store for Naomi's route. I can't imagine this being all that interesting compared to the mod that's still in the works. At least I hope it's still in the works. Because off screen, I actually decided to go ahead and do the Trish mod and see what it was, you know, see what was up with it, and it wasn't bad. I think it, I just think it just I just don't think that it works in terms of like what could have been. 
Cause it's, it feels like one of those more like post ending ones kind of deal. If you know what I mean. And as I say that only because like I know for a fact that in some cases, like, you know, some fires in terms of like, fandoms will just quickly be ignite and then they'll just quickly die down and just move on to whatever's next. Might as well head there right now. Please, come in. This is your fucking... <laughs> damn! All I gotta say is damn! Which Unity Acid ripoff is this from? Peek at Naomi's office. She's behind her desk surrounded by entire towers of impressive looking folders. Not taking her eyes off one, she gestures for me to come in. Please, take a seat right there. Put a smaller table on her left with a laptop on it. That's a computer. Do whatever you want with it. Just make sure it runs properly. Whatever I want with it! Whatever I want with it. <laughs> I wonder what's in her search history. Got it. Anon, if, Anon, if I were you, you have no idea the kind of power I would actually abuse with this. I said that boot boot Naomi's laptop up. <laughs> A fucking course it is. It looks somewhat old, but it's working. Of course it's Windows 10. Hey! Cutesy photo of NASA and Naomi at some dinner party greets me on the lo lock screen. Everything seems to work just fine. The press answer system demands a pin code. What's your pin? That's the problem. I don't know. How do you not know your own pin? Uh-huh. In that case, I can use your password to log out. Do you remember that? Yes, it's... Oh, she paused for a second. <laughs> it's go to hell Mia, one, two, three. Oh my, go to hell, Mia. <laughs> of course it is. But that won't help you anyway. It sure as hell should. Must be, it must be a forgot my pin option here somewhere. I was green for 20 seconds, but the option was nowhere to be found. Okay, that's weird. Let's look up, look up online. Some serious googling on my phone. I finally begin to understand what the problem is. This version of Windows 10 is old as sin. Turns out Microsoft outdid themselves when designing the new login screen. Before a certain update, it didn't have a forgot pin option. Really? So if you actually forgot it, you were shit out of luck when, even when, with the user password. Now that's a head scratcher. Hey Naomi, how... So how exactly did you manage to forget your pen? She looked at me like I just assaulted and I insulted Nasser in front of her. I didn't forget it! My damn sister changed it! That was her joke of an idea of a joke! Yeah. Okay, how okay, one. How did you How did your sister guess your password was actually wait, no never mind, it's your sister, right? She, of course she would know it. It would her pass would be directed at her. Now a sister? Now that's new. She's not of age yet. Sadly. Anon. But who knows? Your 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 younger brother might be able to go ahead and make do with her. Just maybe. Would have been easier if you asked her to change it back. I'd rather die. Fuck. There was enough cold fury in that voice to start an ice age. Tough. And so silence fell. Once a few minutes passed, 
The only sound we, we hear are Naomi's rustling papers and my squeaking office chair. Spanner back in basketball trying to get my nogging jogging and no doubt knowing the grab of Naomi. I glanced at Naomi, tapping away on a huge calculator. Looks like something my dad might have used when he was in high school. Guess his school does need budgeting. My conscience told me not to interrupt Naomi, but the atmosphere in the room was getting so thick that you could cut it with a knife. So, how's Nasser doing? He's fine. He and team have been training, training around the clock recently, so we don't spend much time together. I'm sure he misses you a whole lot. I say with a grin. He better. Because my sarcasm didn't go unappreciated. Are you just planning on handling this entire mountain of paper by yourself? Do I have any options? I don't know. Don't push yourself too hard. We need you alive and well. Let me relax a bit. Thanks, but you don't need to worry. I can handle this. To me, it looks like the student council is exploiting you to high heaven. You don't need to see the queen bee shoveling honey all day long. Wait a second. Exploit. I just remembered something. So from exploit Windows 10 that might help. Turn back to the computer screen. I rebooted the e rebooted and entered the recovery menu. Now I can launch the recovery command shell. So then the admin privileges, but it does allow me to copy c cmd.exe over that file that's responsible for that sticky keys function. Then I boot back to the login screen and press shift five times. Voila! Now I have a command line with full administrator privileges. God bless whatever Indian programmers Microsoft employs. They always try their best. <laughs> At that point, facing the problem became a matter of time. Create a new user, made it an admin, set up new login parameters. Allow me to enter Naomi's user account and switch the whole login screen off. Once again, I am victorious. Terry would have been proud. As I finished cleaning up the leftover mess, it was time to present my achievement to Naomi. As she diligently crushed the numbers, I stretched my chair and turned to her. I'm done here. The issue is pretty obscure, but it's all good now. She's made Ch Naomi cheer up for the first time since I came here. Oh, and now thank you. You have no idea how much headache you just saved me. I bent in the calculator. She stood up and practiced, pranced like a doe to the nearest cabinet. Remember, promise you tea? Well, you're getting it now. I was hoping you would forget about the tea. Some of the cabin and took out an electric kettle with some tea bags, but it looked like a large cardboard box? Oh, if you don't have to, it's not a big deal. Shush, I'm not taking no for an answer. Anon, prepare your stomach. Good work is always be rewarded. Well, I might as well enjoy myself. Now I quickly got the kettle going and pulled it out two teacups. Any sugar? No thanks, I like it plain. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Wish Nasser was like that. <sighs> Once they finish Naomi Mod. Once they finish Naomi Mod. Patience. Then again, I've been waiting all, all of 2023 for Slay the Princess to come out, and it still has yet to come out. And we're already more than halfway through the year. I should probably show that game off, shouldn't I? He refuses to touch anything unless it has milk and sugar. Such a sweet tooth. As we wait for the tea to cool down, Naomi picked the mystery box up and brought it to my attention. We won't just be drinking tea, though. I have a surprise. She opened the box full of cutesy home-baked cookies. <laughs> oh no! They're trying to make Naomi appealable! They were all shaped like small dinosaurs! I always, I always wanted to bake some for Nasser. This is a test batch. Why don't you try them for me? Pa was impressively tall. Eating someone's first time at baking is always a gamble, but Naomi doesn't strike me as someone who would be bad at it. So it can't be as bad as that time I almost ate a feather and scrambled eggs. Fangs tried baking. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> Filled with needles for a nod. Your lifesaver as usual. Finally, the tea cooled off enough to drink. I picked up the first cookie and sized it up. It looks somewhat like a pterosaur, although it could also have been a bat. It was covered in strange black dots. I assume they're chocolate? 
Not much looking at me expectantly. Well, here goes nothing. I bit off the weird Terrasar's wing. Are we dead? What the fuck is the music? For a second, I forgot how to breathe. I could feel the tears in my eyes. My whole mouth was burning. Barely able to swallow the stuff, I gulped down the tea and stared at the clueless Naomi, who was smiling, smiling vacantly there. What the fuck was in the cookie? So, how was it? <laughs> what? What was that? My very own recipe. I was coughing like a sick man now. What, what, what the hell did you add? Black pe- Oh, I see what you are. It, your- Your rain. <laughs> Naomi's fucking rain. In a game called Tales of Symphony, one of the one, your your healer for that game, right? Her name is Rain. And funny enough, for a healer, and you know, being a professor, she's horrible at cooking. As if for some fucking reason, she feels the need to add really, really weird things to whatever you make her cook, like. You know how cake is supposed to be, like, very sweet for the most part? Yeah, apparently she wanted to get experimental and decided, what if we made a cake, but it was spicy? Spicy cake. Like, this is what that's reminding me of right now. It's the fact that it's like, I had, it's like our characters had to eat a spicy fucking cake. With actual spices inserted into it, along with everything normally with cake. My eyes widened. My mom always said that adding a bit of salt to sweets helps bring out the flavor, so I tried doing it with pepper. When they meant add salt with sweets, they meant salt salt. NOT PEPPER! I would know. Salted caramel, along with, you know, chocolate, does not taste bad at all. In fact, it's actually pretty good. But you don't do that with pepper! It's quite a fun treat, don't you think? My inner alarm was going off. Naomi definitely wanted to poison me. If not for the fact that she picked one of the, one of the spotted pterodactyls herself and ate it in one bite, glowing with pride. Ah, uh, it prickles a bit, doesn't it? Oh, so I forgot we're human. What the actual hell is this woman? So, try another one. She said as she was scarfing down her tea in one swig. Stone face. She was a master of hiding emotions as usual. I didn't want to ruin Naomi's mood completely, so I gave another cookie a chance. This one looks like a snack of some kind. Or a snack. A snake of some kind. Or maybe a Chinese dragon? It looked like it was covered in shards of stained glass. Now I feel like I need to know before, more for eating. And this? Oh, this is just colored sugar. I found it in Mom's baking set. Sounds innocent enough. Took a small bite out of the cookie. Or I would if I didn't refuse to yield. The cookie was hard as rock. Now I was getting scared for my teeth! How did you measure the flower? I tried eyeballing it. Did she forget to wear glasses? Sorry, this is a bit too tough for me. Oh. Sorry to realize what's going on. Well, third time's the charm. This one looked like Cthulhu? Nothing else <laughs> nothing else to worry about. A Power Ranger! <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Snapped it in half, took a deep breath, put one half of my mouth. Brazy for brazy for it still couldn't prepare me. It was the saltiest thing I've ever eaten. Have you tried Vegemite? 
Well, Jake Watson, you ever you ever actually tried Vegemite? Not even joking. It's actually not that bad once you actually mix it with something sweet. But otherwise, it's basically like extreme salt. Like a like imagine like taking a spoonful of salt and putting that in your mouth. Yeah, that's Vegemite. Unless you mix it with something sweet, then it's actually not that bad. I would know. <laughs> my, my friend from Australia sent me some Vegemite. I tried doing it the supposed way, and it was salty as fuck. But then I put something sweet on it, and all of a sudden I was like, yeah, it's actually not bad. <laughs> I didn't have to say anything. My face said it all. Chugging the rest of my tea like a man stranded in a desert. I silently passed the other half to Naomi. She eats it with a difficult expression. Oh. I think I got sugar and salt mixed up. Now we look that she was on the verge of tears now. I can't believe it. She looked away from, from me. So her glass and covered her eyes. Hey, Naomi. It's fine. You can go. Thanks for helping me out. No, I couldn't leave her like that. It was the first time I started legitimately trying to do, to do something nice. Don't worry about it. You screwed up here, but we, but we all do. Just try again. Why bother? She looked at me again. I failed. Simple as that. Damn, bitch! <laughs> she really- she really is professionistic! Like, it's like, alright, yeah, you failed once, try again, they're fucking cookies! No one can- You know, it's like, come on, man! I failed. Simple as that. You did? So what? The most successful person in the school. It's hardly a setback for someone like you. I realized at this moment Naomi was reaching a bo her boiling point. Yeah, I can see that. Working overtime, up here with things no one cares about, with the boyfriend's obviously avoiding me, feeding you this shit. It was like at lunch. She exploded again. She picked up the box and threw it across the room, sweet scouting all over the floor. Well, it should be sweet with big quotation marks. Naomi. The problem ran deeper than bad cookies. The girl stood off, her tail almost knocking over the, the chair she sat on. She drove to the corner of the room and stood there looking at me. Oh fuck. You can leave now. Don't pretend like you care. Why would I care? You're my best friend's girlfriend, right? You're my you're my bro's GF. Because you hate me anyway. <laughs> True? For what I pulled with you and Fang. Oh god. <laughs> this sure is one bad apple. Oh who the, who the fuck who the fuck is the guy in between? It's going like, whoa, she said the thing. She said the thing, guys. She said the thing. That's one bad apple. Umbra. Oh great, now I need to go and check. Where is it? Really? Let me just let me check let me check that right fucking now. Guy actually has a fucking channel.
content creator, writer, voice actor. I don't believe that you're a voice actor. If you were, I would have heard about you, but I haven't. Oh, so how dare? Is, is that like I want to say like his that that avatar he has is like from like Final Fantasy fourteen maybe, but I'm not sure. Dude, I I still need to I'm still trying to go and read Broken Wings. Still trying to read the Broken Wings before before I get to the bad apple. I at least want to feel a little bit happiness before we go ahead and jump deep into basically depression. But yeah, looking at this guy's like channel, it's like it actually makes me <laughs> It actually makes me actually wish my freaking copy of 14 could arrive sooner. <sighs> Still have to wait for that fucking thing. Let me wait, let me let me let me show you this very quick. Let's see. I I ordered that thing. Oh my god. F fucking hell, man. Four fucking months. Four fucking months, and it's been literally stuck in hell. Because I wanted to get a physical copy of the game and not get it digitally. And it's been stuck in postal hell. Anyway, let me go and let me go actually go and drink some water. So we continue with the reading of this. You try to be nice, but I'm not stupid, you know. I don't hate you. Why? The question caught me off guard. Why don't I hate Naomi? <laughs> tried manipulating me before. She can be very selfish and annoying, so why don't I hate her? Because never mean anyone harm. Naomi look, looked at me dumbstruck. Sure, you were pretty nasty, but you, but you did what you did for your boyfriend, right? You saw we couldn't deal with Fang, so you tried to fix her. It wasn't because you hated her, it was because you loved them. No matter how I look at it, I can't hate that. Now we let an uneasy sigh and slump back in her chair. Sorry about the outburst, I'm a bit on edge right now. He said Nash is avoiding you, why? No, it's just emotions talking. He's so preoccupied with the athletics festival, we barely see each other anymore. And then there's... My sister. I mentioned it before. Didn't know you have one. <laughs> I don't believe she's fucking older. Otherwise, it's like that would not add up to what happens in fucking like Wani. And I, and I do mean that. Like, let me actually want to check that right now. How does it? Does are there were there like ages on those profiles? Let me just see. Uh, yeah, meet the cast. Okay, no, there isn't. You think there would be though? But seriously, I. But seriously, if that's if it, she, they, she can't be considered the older sister because otherwise, how the hell is she like in, like the high school of this game, right? So I feel as if maybe it was just like a bullet guess that they didn't know about at the time. 
you know, shot in the dark, I mean. <laughs> but whatever, let's just go, let's just go with whatever this continuity wants to go with. She's my older sister, Mia. Fucking Mia. She's in college now, but she decided to visit the family home a few days ago. She hated me since we were children. Always a fucking delinquent. Stealing my stuff, doing stupid pranks, never apologizing for anything. Now she comes back, and you know the first thing she does? Asking me what fucking dick I sucked to get the council president position. Naomi looked furious, clutching her fist so hard her hands were shaking. I always hated her. Guess both you and Nazar were blessed with interesting siblings. No wonder you hit it off so well. Now he's staring daggers at me now. I mean... Talked with Nasser about it? Not really. Nasser doesn't need to know. He'll just think I'm pathetic. You don't give him enough credit. Nasser's a sensitive guy. He has a lot of... A lot of his own experience. Remember? Bang? If you talk it up, I'm sure your relationship would only grow stronger. Get stuff off your chest for once. You, you know... You may be right. I'll try. Now we smiled again, relieving some tension in the room. We both relaxed in our chairs. I looked around. The office was in bad shape. Cookies scattered over the floor. Stacks of paper piling up on the desk. How about we make a deal? What kind? Help you clean up all this mess. Let me drag you out of this hellhole for today. Huh? I think we both need some fresh air. <laughs> Oh, Anon, you know I'm taken. The fan, but the fandom says otherwise. I'm not talking about a date, stupid. I think you should. I just think you should get a break. Seriously, listen, look, look at that blush, man. Like, oh no. If it wasn't for the fact that you're taken and the fact that your character is pretty much a manipulative bitch, I actually would have liked you, considering how I felt at the start. We can hang out like friends. I thought I could have, ha I could handle having her as a girlfriend. <laughs> You'd be surprised in the, in the alternate continuity. Friends, huh? One thing I could use a break. Clean up the floor, then I'll get, I'll get my desk in order. Whole process didn't take long, which managed to put the office in a presentable state. Now, I mean, I left, left the building together. Where to? This guy's getting redder as the evening approaches. Ah <laughs> oh, yeah, bitches, we go in the, the Naomi route. <laughs> My god. We walk down the street, not talking much. I was the one to, su to suggest this, but I have no clue what to do with her. Even after all this time, I realize that I don't know anything about Naomi. I wonder what Nasser does in this situation. I guess it's in their relationship, she's doing everything. Hey, I have an idea. There's a bookstore nearby. I need to buy stuff there. You mind if we drop by? Lead the way. I don't need any books, but it's nice for Naomi to take to break the ice. We took right turn, walk for five more minutes, and sure enough, there was a small bookstore. Open the door for Naomi, do my best to gentlemanly impre impression. If she were fang, she clearly would have made a snide comment of some sort. Naomi only gave me a polite thanks. Wow. I feel like I've seen this image before. Mm. Store was crammed with a heavy smell of old books in the air. Looking more like an old library. Excuse me, I'll be right back. Now I'm going to quickly disappear into the maze of bookshelves. Let me stranded. I wonder if they sell manga here. <laughs> Probably not. Still, it's worth taking a look. I know that there actually is a library not far from where I'm at that actually does sell manga. So weird. <laughs> anyway, taking a look, we our way through the store, which turned out to be surprisingly big. Most of the stuff here was educational in nature. No wonder, the school is nearby after all. Mother probably needed something for her studies. 
As I was trying to squeeze myself between the shelves and my way deeper into the store, I noticed something in the corner of my eye. <laughs> I love. I actually really love this one right here because it's just the heh. <laughs> All according to my plan. It was Naomi hiding among the bookshelves. <laughs> Are you secretly reading manga? She was reading something, but wait. This is the adult romance section? <laughs> Mischievous smile crept up my face. So, our student council president likes that kind of literature. <laughs> what a lewd woman. So I guess we all have our ways of dealing with stress. Still, trying not to make any noise, I stepped closer to her. I couldn't see the title of the book she was reading, but I could see the cover. A very macho looking topless man was holding a beautiful maiden in one hand with a huge sword in another? What? Hey, Prez. <laughs> now we jerked up and she got struck with a lightning bolt. Uh, Anon, what are you doing here? Looking for you? You know they have great they have they have a great two for one sale on anatomy books. I was seriously poking fun at her now. <laughs> now we panicked she tried to shove the book back on the shelf near the six co copies of Fifty Shades of Grey <laughs> This isn't what it looks like! I I just made a mistake! A very likely story. I'm sure others wouldn't believe would believe right away. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness me, such vulgar literature. P please, you gotta keep this a secret. If anyone finds out, my reputation is done for. Why is that hot? <laughs> Everything I worked so hard for. I believe she was about to cry. The entire facade was nothing more than a house of cards, and someone just pulled out a pulled out a book <laughs> it was built on. Please, I'll do anything you ask. Oh, really? So I came over me at that moment. What? A violent impulse I haven't felt before. Almost like my ID suddenly decided to take the wheel. I just have to tease this girl a bit more. Oh, shit! Oh! Okay! We're getting... Wow! Alright! <laughs> I walked up to Naomi with the sultriest look I could muster and slammed my hand on the opposite bookshelf, trapping her against it with my body. Yeah, exactly. Courage is the max of five. She was burning with embarrassment, looking away from me. Her face is red as a tomato. Uh, was, what was the other stat? It was courage and charm, was it? Remember great it was charm, wasn't it? I guess her romantic fantasies were coming true in the worst way possible. Uh, Anon, th this is wrong. W what would Na Nasser say? I gently grabbed the bow on her shirt. Nasser doesn't need to know. That was was getting heavy. Her knees were shaking. <laughs> I'm so glad I got to have it of, of eating mint candy. I never knew you, you felt that way about me. <laughs> God damn! There wasn't even hints of resilience in her. Naomi, the high and mighty student council president. She who tried to control me so masterfully before. <laughs> hey, we already we already did the good ending. We already did the Stella ending. Remember that. We were, we're trading Pokemon with other women in that one. was melting like butter in my grasp. Lower my head slightly, whisper to her. Now here's what we'll do. <laughs> Naomi gulped nervously. First, you give me your phone number. Damn! She nodded meekly without saying a word. <laughs> Damn! What did, what did we become smooth? I'll mail you a cookie recipe, the best one I have. You follow the recipe to the T. Tomorrow, we'll see the results. I let go of her. <laughs> that was smooth as fuck! But her atmosphere Naomi cooked up in her head evaporated instantly. She looked dumbfounded, but still blushing. This, that is the price of my silence, Prez. 
Naomi nodded. I understand. Honestly, I expected, her, I expected a stronger reaction. Maybe a slap on the face? But she didn't say a word against anything that, that just transpired. I guess she liked it? <laughs> oh, man, who knew? The person who likes dominating people secretly likes to be dominated. Might as well count my blessings. I'll be waiting then. I said with a gentle smile. Which Fang saw us now. She'll be rolling on the floor. I decided it was time to leave. One of us really needed some fresh air, and then it was me. Naomi walked outside after me, looking like she just ate a whole batch of her special pterodactyl cookies. Her usual million, million dollar attitude was left somewhere in the romance section, I guess. Damn, we do good. As we made our way to the bus stop, the sun was already setting. Ah, yes, now we must go ahead and depart. I was tapping away at my phone while Naomi stayed silent. I just sent you the recipe. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just how it's like she actually goes like, oh. <laughs> Detect your phone. Wait. Oh, whoops. This is. Oh, this is ac this is accidental. This is Naomi when it shouldn't. She checked her phone. It was a link to the website. I I always use myself. Oh, that makes sense. I should add butter. You didn't add butter? Moments later, she was really into it. Oh, this looks so simple. Bitch didn't know how to make cookies. Bitch didn't know how to make cookies. I know how to make cookies. You know, if you know, if I actually had a good like fucking webcam or some shit, I could just do that right, right? Like I just do it for a fucking stream and just be like, "This is how you make cookies, you dumb fucks." It's not that hard. Sadly, I'm broke. Yep, should take you an hour or so. Try making some. I'll come by your office tomorrow to try them. Well, not la nasty, it's subpar baking goods. Oh, I mean, bro. Now we smell the nodded. Yes, thank you for the help. Strange as it may be. That's what friends are for. Naomi was still blushing. It's very nice of you to say, but I promise you won't tell a word about anyone about the books. I already promised. Don't worry, it's eager to say it with me. Well, it's getting late now. I think it's time for us to split. I agree. My parents will get worried if I don't show up soon. I wave Naomi goodbye. She says, she says something unexpected. Oh. Hey, Anon. Both pause for a moment. Today was fun. Let's hang out some more sometime. <laughs> Social link rank, go! There's no usual... <laughs> sacr saccharine tone in her words. She's being earnest. Sure. I think I saw a very genuine smile on Naomi's face. We bid each other farewell. Naomi disappeared from my view, and I headed home. My apartment is quiet as ever. I am in a PC desk while scrolling various cooking websites. While well, I'm still digesting everything that just transpired, today was a weird day. Naomi and I were never anything more than acquaintances, yet we had fun together. Master is not a jealous. I'm century would century would happy to know that. Fang though, she'd probably be pretty angry. Now we are not on speaking terms. So God choose my words carefully when I break to her the news. Although Fang's not dumb enough to get jealous over Naomi of all people. She'll understand. Make him build build a bridge between those two. Although that'd be quite a challenge. Love to ask Nasser about it. Maybe we'll organize a double date or something. You say that. I hear my phone buzzing. Is it Fang? But she already called me an hour ago. Oh, it's Naomi. She sent me a message. I tried following your recipe. It worked really well. <laughs> no shit! How the fuck does she not know how to cook? A simple cookie recipe. You have to drive my office tomorrow and try these. I'm so happy with them. You got a prez, I'll be there. 
I didn't bring Fang with me. She's going back tomorrow. Please, no. <laughs> eh, it was worth a shot. It's time for me to get some sleep. Sleep proved to be somewhat difficult. My thoughts were on Naomi, who told, told, told me in her office. Or she's a complete mystery to me. Is she really that bad? No, you have no idea. Or is it the same story as with Fang and Nasser? I think I can handle another Fang, though. One is plenty enough for me. So maybe I should just leave her for some other sucker to figure out. <laughs> you hear that, Mia? You're, you're gonna get ink code. <laughs> okay, that's a genius. This is our lesson in my nice room, like a curious thing dropped on me. I'm actually looking forward to tomorrow's cookies. As long as I'm just an garlic or something. Should be pretty great. Now I think about it, I'm definitely taking Fang with me tomorrow. I'm sure our perfect student council president would handle her just fine. Just to spite her. That 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 comment right there at the end was pretty funny. Bad end! Try again. I failed the Oh, and by the way, I, you know, I probably should say some mention something. Well, not so much mention, but... Po point this out. It, it's a bit of, I wouldn't say a special conversation, but it's actually something that has kind of been stuck in my mind with how... I hate how that's fucking true. And it was, it was like, and it's this conversation right here. You said them before about how some people won't ever amount to anything. What did you mean by that? It's like, I think you're a creep. It's interesting what he actually says here. I don't know, it's like, the world is too full. And there's only, only gonna be more people as time goes on. Eventually we'll run out of food and resources. The culture will be far too gone to really fix anything. Midwits and morons have kids like crazy. You have no idea. The number of smart people in the world remains stagnant. Or even goes down over time. Rest in peace, Sir Stephen Hawking. Nobody's immune to propaganda, and useful people can be indoctrinated right into the crowds. You have no idea how true that actually is. With some of the shit I found, it's like... <sighs> Know what I mean? No, that's actually wow. How I feel about things. Right, like in all of history, if you really look at it, the smart people have never even once had to answer to the excess. Back in the day, innovation was propelled by smart people working with other smart people, trying all sorts of new things that the masses would have hated. Like rock music, right? People hated that at first. And then she goes on about her band. It's a very interesting conversation, admitting. A very interesting conversation, though. Because you have no idea how actually true that is. Yeah, especially with like today's like world views and all that. Like fuck man, you have no idea.
Like, I'm gonna put it to you in the most visceral... <laughs> God damn it, really? Fucking hell! I hate sleep with you, come on. Alright, let me just go and cut to the, to the basic point. Long story short, even from back then, even from back then, I never quite understood why is it that there were so many people up against the whole, I don't know, other people just doing whatever they so want. <laughs> that ain't even a joke. <laughs> like, fucker. <laughs> to put it in the most basic ass sense of way, like, if I shoot a man, or shoot, like, someone else, they're gonna die if I- if that shot happens to be fatal. I highly doubt something like being transgender or gay is suddenly gonna make you just immune or make you more resilient. You're still gonna die. At the end of it all. At the end of the day, all- of, it doesn't really fucking matter. And don't even get me going start about this whole idea. Basically, it's like what makes you happy. Like fucking hell, man. Don't know about you, but basically, I've seen some shit that basically makes you actually reconsider a lot of things. A lot of things, a lot of the time. Very true. Very, very fucking true. <laughs> I just never could quite quite understand all that. It really just does not make any fucking sense at all. Like, the fuck are we trying to accomplish with this? I guess I, I could just put I could just put this one one way over the other like this about about a certain different subject in general here. It's like you you probably seen like I'll, you, I don't know if you have or haven't, but it's like I know like there are shows like Family Guy and American Dad and all that, you know that sort of thing, right? And basically the biggest issue I have with a lot of these adult-oriented shows, or the ones that are like, well, most known, is... Is basically, to be fair, for someone like me, it's an insult to writing. Have you any actual fucking idea how hard it is to, for some reason, you know, get the good stories out there? Like, and you know, the obvious example we have here is Snoop Game. And for me, that what actually happens to be, even though you might think otherwise, these still very, very small, like, you know, Project Moon series of games. Which, in themselves, people would fucking hate. Considering that it is very bloody, it is very gory, and let's face it, the people in there aren't exactly the nicest. I mean, fuck, early on in that in that goddamn game, you literally have to go and kill off an innocent boy by the name of Flynn. 
who is literally about as innocent and baby face as you could get or literally just seeing the horror esque that act as you saw of like what happened to Tom and you know like Tom and Mary <laughs> amongst other things and it's like people would just fucking hate that shit because it's like, no, don't kill off, you know, the good characters. And it's like, sorry, it makes the story interesting. Among so many fucking other things. So it's like, I pretty much just hate the fact that it's like all this shit, you know, the good shit basically gets for the most part ignored by the, you know, by the paper the bigger public and yet in some instances something that honestly does fucking nothing special at all <laughs> yeah no one is safe in a fi fictional world very true but in the case of, a, of what I'm about to go and you know explain actually holy shit give me a second Basically, I've just... Basically, that's why I pretty much actually just absolutely despise HB and all for it stands for. An insult to basically good writing in all terms. Why even actually bother trying to go and make it be anything else if, it, if, the, if the picture just happens to look super fucking pretty? As long as the picture is pretty, fuck everything else! Am I right, guys? Just fuck any actual good sensibilities. Like, again, in this one, there are so many moments where where it's like you know fang and a non have moments imagine just not having those moments at all and we're just expected to you know think these two are a good match for each other or they're supposed to be together that's what the relationship in there even feels like <laughs> or in the case of the newest one let's just fucking do absolutely nothing for an entire episode what fuck? Like, I want to know who is who in the right mind thought this was a good idea. Like, I want to know who the fuck thought that was a good idea. <sighs> but seriously, I say it's like I really want to know who the fuck why. Like, you cannot ignore the principles of good writing. And expect your thing to go ahead and actually sell, you know, sell off on just visual style alone. It fucking won't. It just fucking won't. And I would know. It's just, it just really boggles my fucking mind. Just god damn it. Cause I'm not even like joking when I do the fact actually say, where the fuck did this come from? Why do you suddenly care? Why are you suddenly being this way? It's just I'm a re Alright, fine. Go ahead. Go right off. But that but that actually only gives me an idea as to what I can now do. Which is something very, very evil. Night. That's no.
What to find? We could do something stupid, like really stupid, if I so wanted to. Think about it. Hmm. I could do that. Good night. Oh man, that would be funny as shit. I could totally just fucking do that. I could just mm, wait. I actually kind of want to wait until like for at least two minutes. Cause then it's like, oh man. Oh my god. I'm just going to go ahead and now play me some more Personas. Because you know I would. <laughs> 